Fora TV. The world is thinking. Very frequent question in this in this pile is is how racism will affect this election and can you actually poll for that? That is to say, are uh, people em embarrassed to say that they wouldn't vote for someone based on race? Lots of talk about the so-called Bradley effect, which was very real here in California, um, which defined, you know, the people who were uh, ashamed to say that they were not going to vote for the African American candidate, and that was un then further underscored with with David Dinkins in New York City and Doug Wilder, uh, governor of Virginia, but in 2006. Harold Ford, black candidate in Tennessee, actually got more votes on election day than the pre-election polls showed. That's number one. Number two, we polled during the primaries. And if you take us as a whole, Zogby, um, we got 19 of 24 states right. Uh, if you take the industry as a whole, the industry comported itself very, very well. And generally speaking, where we got them wrong was not with an underestimation of Obama's vote. It was an underestimation of the last minute breaks, decision making for Hillary. Now, when we asked in the, uh, either in the exit polls or the post-election polls, um, why did you vote for Hillary uh, or why did you not vote for Obama, as a researcher, I was satisfied that 15, 20 percent uh, within the Democratic uh, primaries were telling us that race was a factor and that they would not vote for an African American. Uh, while I was satisfied as a researcher, as a human being, I was saying, I wish you'd go back in the closet, you know. Um, I'm very troubled by that. But I believe that there is not an, um, um, a Bradley effect uh, out there. Obviously, we'll find out on November 4th and November 5th, but uh, I don't think the, I, I think that it's, it's been neutralized.